what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl sister girl on films and as you can tell by the title y'all i am finally giving my thoughts on the angry black girl and her monster which is a horror sci-fi drama that's based on the original idea of frankenstein but given a little modern urban twist okay so if you're interested in my thoughts on this movie then stay right there we're gonna get right into it time to hang out with my sister girl but an angry black girl and her monster stars Leia. I think it's Leia. Hope it's Leia. Dalian Hayes. Denzel Whitaker, Chad Coleman, um, it's a pretty decent cast, most of which I'm not familiar with, except for Chad Coleman. He was in The Walking Dead. So if y'all remember our girl, child remember none of the people's names, honey, but it was the black brother and sister, and then the brother, spoiler alert, if you ain't never seen Walking Dead, if you plan on watching it, um, so spoiler alert, okay. <laughs> I can't remember his character's name, but y'all remember he ended up dying and his death in Walking Dead broke my heart, honey. Tears upon tears upon tears, honey. So he's in this, okay? So Leia Hayes plays Vicaria, who is a young girl living in the projects. The community she lives in is ran pretty much by this gang. Um, and the gang leader is Kang, who's played by Denzel Whitaker. So her brother and her mother um, and her father, you know, have different incidences with the gang. And she just feels like her family has been riddled with this disease of death. Um, and she's over it. She decides that she's going to find the cure for death. And she gets more than what she bargained for when she brings her brother Chris who was murdered back to life. I absolutely enjoyed this movie. Um, it had its issues, but overall, I really, really liked it. First and foremost, the performances were so good, except for like a couple people here and there. Overall, I thought the performances were great. Chad Coleman, he did a great job. And our lead, um, Leia Hayes, they did a phenomenal job. Like, I love their performances. Leia Hayes as Vicaria really sold it for me. Like, I just, just was sucked into her pain and her grief like right out the gate and just that want to have your family back just that anger that she was experiencing not only because of society because they talked about that a lot but also the circumstances that she was in you know having her her mother no longer in her life having her father not really present for a couple of reasons you know and seeing death and destruction around her at all turns and just being so fed up with death impacting her every time she turned around that she just felt like she had to do something about it and that something was to try to figure out how to bring people back to life um and i feel like just in dealing with grief so many of us, I feel like, can relate to the idea of if we could do something to just end that feeling of pain or prolong life, or if we could just have one more day with a loved one that we've lost, I feel like all of us would do that. But I think in this movie, Vicaria, as smart as she was, that emotion really led her decisions and she didn't really think it through in terms of like okay but like what does that mean like she knew how death impacted the body she knew all those things but she was so excited with the idea of just being able to see her brother once again that she ignored all the other shit <laughs> that could possibly come with bringing somebody back from the dead. Some of like the hitting meanings of things in the movie I really enjoyed. I like that about a movie. I know a lot of people don't like movies that are like allegories for different things, but I do. Um, and a little spoiler alert, a little a teensy winty little spoilers. And so the gang, I forget the name of the gang, but the gang that's in her Vicarious community, uh, their colors are red. So they wear red bandanas and stuff. And so we never see another rival gang but what we do see is the police that come into their neighborhood a lot and they have shootouts with the police and things like that and through almost close to the end of the movie I realized that the police is the rival gang in this movie and I love that they made that the rival gang I love that because the police is represented by the color blue and if you're familiar with the gang stuff the most well-known gangs are the Crips and the Bloods and the Crips are represented by blue the Bloods are represented by red um, and so just in the fact that Bloods and red is even 
for presenting in this movie. And there's a lot of bloodshed and just a lot of, I just, I just loved, <laughs> I just love that they added that twist in there versus it being literally another rival gang. I also love that there was a moment, um, when we were nearing the climax of the film where Vicaria is spending the evening with the remainder of her family, the family members that she has left. And in that moment, she recognizes that she was so focused on the family that she lost that she didn't take the time to appreciate the family that she still had left. And that part of the movie made me so happy on the inside, but then it also made me sad because I knew what was about to happen because we hadn't hit our climax yet. And I knew our climax, some shit was about to really turn. Things took a turn in a way I did not expect. And the folks over on the Patreon can vouch, I was crying <laughs> after things kind of unfolded, but I love that. And that is so true. Like when you're going through grief and loss, you focus so much on what you've lost that you fail to stay in the present and recognize what you do have and cherish that and nurture that. And I think that, again, Vicaria was so focused on trying to revive something that was dead that she didn't take any time to grow the living and nurture the living and the existing love that she had. And so this movie, again, people are... I've seen mixed reviews on it, but I feel like it was just such a good movie um, in the sense of how it tackled the idea of death and grief and trauma and depression and all of those things. And I'm not mad at them bringing to life like the idea of Frankenstein into this type of environment because I think it, it kind of gave it, I, I like that horror element of it. Um, now we'll get to the parts of the movie that I didn't necessarily like. Um, and that also will go back to the horror element. <laughs> I think that from what, what I remember the trailer of it, it was kind of marketed as more of a horror film. And of course, with it having kind of like that Frankenstein S type of vibe, you would expect it to have some of those horror elements, but I feel like the horror elements of it fell flat. Like it had the possibility to really kind of go there with the horror parts of it, but there were some of the the camera angles was kind of like that shaky flash photography so throughout the film i struggled to see the actual face um of chris uh the the our frankenstein of the movie um but i feel like that was intentional i feel like that was intentional because chris is supposed to be the embodiment of any young man that's been pulled into the streets and pulled into gang life and drug dealing and have been brutalized and have been made to be the monster of society when all they really want is love and to be understood and to be heard and all these different things. So I feel like it was intentional, but I still wish I could have seen more of that because if you're going to give me horror, then you got to give me horror. Don't tease me with the horror. Give me <laughs> the actual horror. Also, there was a character named Aisha. I wasn't a fan of her performance. I don't know if her performance was intentional, but it was very off-putting and it felt like she was overacting a little bit. Um, so I, I wasn't a fan of her performance. So that was a part of the movie that I didn't necessarily like. And I also didn't like um, how the, the leader of the gang, Kango, um, I didn't like what happened with his character near the climax and at the climax of the film because he was so awful in the beginning and then I think they tried to like humanize him. And that's something that I don't like in movies that are centered around like um, the hood and stuff like that. And when they try to make the drug dealers or like the gang leaders, we try to humanize them on some level because at the end of the day, you're a villain, okay? If you're selling drugs, if you're involved in gang violence, if you're re recruiting kids into the gang, to me, you don't have no redeeming qualities, I'm sorry. Y'all can argue me down about the local dope boy. I've known quite a few. And yes, I can say, yeah, he was cool. But also, you're doing this thing that's harming the community. So I'm it, your cool factor really comes down for me. And I felt like with Kango, they were trying to do that. And I didn't like that because I felt like he was an awful person. And he knew. Not only was he awful, he knew the harm that he had done to Vicaria's family. And he celebrated that. 
So where we went with that character, I wasn't feeling it. He did get what I feel like he deserved, but how they tried to get the audience to show empathy for him, I wasn't feeling that, okay? But overall, I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, so I would highly suggest you check out An Angry Black Girl and Her Monster. Um, now again, those folks that are in the Patreon, they're, we watched it over there, okay? We watched the whole thing. Um, there was a reaction to it. So if you're not in the Patreon, you know, you can go join the Patreon. And there are videos that are up over there that aren't on the channel. Um, and yeah, and I just, I feel like it, it's worth the watch. Um, so y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've ever seen the Angry Black Girl and Her Monster, what you thought about it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, you know, respectfully, you know, if you're, if you're gonna be racist and disgusting, you're just gonna get blocked. You know, it is what it is. But if you have a genuine critique and if you didn't like it, let me know your thoughts. And as always, y'all like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'ma see y'all next time for something else. Hey, look, I talk my shit and keep it honest, keep it independent. I hear them hating, but that's only cause they inconsistent. He said the weapon wouldn't prosper, not it would.